How do you feel like last year, the sort of last part of the season, we got more opportunities, sort of prepared you for the role that you're going to have this year? Yeah, I think uh, the timing of everything's been perfect, you know, to kind of step in at the end of the year and have a feel for, um, you know, having a full game snap counts and really getting the feel of the game worked out perfect. And, you know, I was just excited to come in and, and build on that in OTAs and throughout camp and, and heading into the season. So, uh, does your, Has your role in that game look, or in those games, look pretty similar to what your role looks like in practices now? Um, yeah, I would say it's pretty similar. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to tell how things would be until you game plan and whatnot, but uh, I'm just excited to be able to have an increased role no matter what that, you know, that role pertains. Tyler, what's it been like having one quarterback available here for a couple of practices? Honestly, I mean, obviously it's, it's been a lot for Jake probably, but he's playing, he's playing awesome. And, uh, you know, just glad to have him out there, and he's playing really well right now. Was today a bet day for you? I know that you kind of went down a little hard uh, in that Saturday night practice. you dealing with an injury? Um, no, it's just precautionary stuff, but definitely not a vet day. I'm not, I'm not at that point in my career yet, so uh, um, not a vet day, but you know, nothing, nothing major. You are the longest tenured member of the tight ends, though. So, did, what, what's your voice like in that room now? Yeah, it's definitely. Um, I always kind of mess with my friends, talk to my parents and stuff about it. It's just weird going from being obviously uh, only going to year four and having Rudy there, who's a nine, ten year vet throughout you know the beginning of my career, to and being the oldest guy in year four and. Uh, you know, I think me and Herb kind of take that, him being year three, me being year four, kind of take that on together. Um, you know, just trying to set a good example and help the young guys as much as we can um, with whatever knowledge we've gained in our first couple years and try to make that transition, you know, as, as seamless as possible for those young guys. So the ankle taped up, is that some Saturday night that happened or when did that? Um, yeah, like I said earlier, it's just really precautionary. Um, nothing major, so, but not a vet day. Again, not a vet day. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it a little worrisome just kind of knowing what you guys are going through with the quarterback room right now and just like it's kind of every team's worst nightmare losing a position group but it's something that could feasibly happen again during the regular season and potentially happen multiple times is that kind of worrisome when we talk about the vaccine and guys who are not vaccinated that this could keep popping up um man I try not to worry I just feel like you can't really worry about things you can't control and um you know for the vaccination and unvaccination thing it's Everybody's personal choice, and you know, um, we stand by. Everybody in this locker room stands behind our teammates, whether it's whether they're vaccinated or not vaccinated. Um, that's kind of where we stand with that whole situation. How have you seen uh, Irv grow? You know, being in the league longer than him as you have been, but how have you seen him grow from the time that he got here to right now? I think the big thing for just a tight end position in general, and I think Irv would probably agree with this, is. We just do so much on the field, whether it's the run game, the pass game, um, pass protection, um, you know, just becoming more comfortable in the playbook and, um, you know, just learning how the game is played at this, at, and learning all these different pieces. Uh, I think that's how he's probably grown the most, just being more comfortable in the playbook. And um, I guess that kind of just allows you to be more sure of yourself, which allows you to go out there and play, you know, at, a, at full speed. So, I mean, he's definitely grown tremendously and he's a, you know, a heck of a tight end. What's, uh, what's Irv's leadership like, despite him being, I think he's 22, he's the youngest guy in the room? Yeah, I think the big thing for Irv is he leads by example. Um, you know, he practices his butt off, uh, he works his butt off, and he just kind of leads by, you know, doing doing things the right way and, and you know, practicing and competing um, as hard as he does. And I think that kind of just rubs off on, you know, the people around, around us and uh, our room speci specifically and on the team. When you got a guy like Blake Zilster making the transition from wide receiver to tight end, do you give him any tips or what have you? Shane Zilster? Uh, yeah, Shane, yeah. Yeah, Shane. So um, Shane's doing a really good job. Uh, you know, he um, obviously transitioning from wide receiver, running routes and stuff. He, he's pretty fluid in that nature. Um, and as we get the pads on and stuff, he'll only get better in the run game as he kind of gets to put his hand on the ground and, and learn how to do that at the tight end position. Tyler, just for you personally, how do you view this opportunity ahead of you this season in an offense that obviously favors the tight ends? And I think it's a contract year for you. Um, um, you know, I'm extremely excited. This is something I've been waiting for. I think, you know, every player waits for their opportunity to come. You know, sometimes it comes faster for others and sometimes some have to wait. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm extremely excited about being able to play in this offense uh, with this team. And uh, just excited to take on whatever role that you know I have this season. So. What's been your uh, biggest area of development, skill set wise? One more time, sorry. What's been your biggest area of development, like over the course of the last four years, skill set wise? Um, I kind of go back to what I said about Irv and just kind of 
understand the playbook, which allows you to excel, um, you know, whether it's receiving game or run game. I definitely would say the run game would be my biggest improvement because at tight end, we're a little disadvantaged, usually size wise. And there's just certain tricks and things that you got to learn kind of throughout your first couple of years that, that help you compete with sometimes those bigger bodies. And um, yeah, I'd say that's probably where I've improved the most.